Hello everybody, today we're installing Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5 So the first thing you gotta do is download the installer I have it in this format, the ISO format, so I'm gonna mount it to my PC And it's a pretty big file, it's over 50 gigs So it might take a bit to mount, just be patient Yeah, it takes quite some time, so don't panic. Okay, here it is. So I mounted the ISO. Now it's on my E drive. So I'm gonna run the setup. I'm gonna run anyway because I trust this file. If you don't trust it, don't press run. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the music, and then I'm gonna. Uh, copy the cracked folder and then I'm going to install it. It's going to take a bit so I'm going to fast forward here. Okay so after speeding that up we've installed the game so we're going to open up Warpinator. Normally I run the game first to check it runs on the PC but I know it works because I've played this game before my PC so I'm gonna open Warpinator and I'm gonna open Warpinator on my Steam Deck so this is a capture card I've connected my Steam Deck to a capture card so I can see it on the PC and I'm opening Warpinator on Steam Deck okay so on the PC I've connected them both to the same network so I'm gonna drag the file, uh, the game folder uh, through Warpinator so I can transfer it to my Steam Deck uh, this is going to take a long time because it is uh, a big file it's around 60 gigabytes so I'm going to accept it on my Steam Deck and wait for it to transfer it I'm going to speed this process up so you don't have to wait that long So this is a sped up video. In real time it will take way longer to transfer around 60 gigabytes. And then it, it, it stopped in, the, in between. I think something happened to my network so that's why I had to do it again. But yeah, let's just wait for it. This is a speed up process. In real time, it took way longer. I just left the computer on. So this game was a request by a viewer. Um, he left a message saying that he couldn't get it to run on the Steam Deck. I'm not sure uh, what the problem was. There is a part where your because it's on Linux, it's uh, then it. There's some cutscenes that cannot be played. Uh, so for Kingdom Hearts 1, the opening cutscene and the closing credit cutscene can't be played because Linux doesn't have some the codecs. So we have to do a little workaround. Uh, I'll show you after we've installed the game. Other than that, I think uh, it's okay. It's like only the the first opening cutscene and the ending cutscene with credits. So those you can watch online I guess uh, but the game plays pretty well and the, uh, the cutscenes in between the game are okay so I guess the longest time uh, or the biggest hurdle installing is the transfer time between the PC and the Steam Deck Okay, so once we have that installed, I'm on my uh, Steam Deck now, on desktop mode. So in the folder, there's a folder called Epic. Just uh, rename it to epic.back. That's where all the video files are. And as I said before, uh, some videos can't be played. So that's why we need to do this workaround. Uh, so you don't get stuck in the game. 
So then we go to our Steam, add a game, add a non-Steam game, and then click Browse, go to the folder that we just transferred. In my case, it's under uh, Downloads, and then Kingdom uh, Warpinator, sorry, Downloads, Warpinator, and then Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 and 2.5 Remix. So I'm going to select the game, because there's a lot of games in here. There's a few games. So I'm going to select the first game, Kingdom Hearts Final Remix, a uh, final, yeah, final mix. So .exe, because there's a launcher that runs all the games, uh, but that doesn't work uh, through Steam. So just select the .exe of the game. If you want to install the second game, uh, check on uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix .exe. So I'm doing the first one. Okay, so I'm going to run it on desktop mode just to make sure it works. So now it's running. It looks pretty good. We're on the right track. Let's just see if we get into the game. So once we start the game, uh, normally there's an opening cutscene. We should be able to skip that and go directly into the game because we changed the name of the folder, Epic, to epic.back. Yeah, we're in the game, so if you've played it before, there should be there should have been a opening cutscene, but uh, yeah, this we skipped it because uh, on Linux it just doesn't run. I don't think there's a workaround right now for it. If there is, let me know. Maybe I can do a follow up. Alright, so now, because I'm in desktop mode, I'm using keyboard and mouse. So you can see that the controls before was WASD on the screen. Yeah, the graphics look pretty good. I think there's a little bit of tearing. Alright, space bar to jump. I think we need to turn the V-Sync on somehow. There's a little bit of tearing on the... Okay, so let's just quit the game and see if it works on game mode, where it matters. Because we're not gonna play in... We're not gonna play in desktop mode. So let's shut down the Steam Deck and go to gaming mode. Okay, so back in gaming mode. Uh, yeah, first thing we're going to do, change the artwork. There's no official artwork for Kingdom Hearts because uh, it wasn't released on the Steam. It was uh, released on the Epic Game Store exclusively. I'm not sure if it will come out later, but uh, as of now, it's only available through the Epic Game Store. So we've got to install some third party uh, artwork. I installed a plugin on the speculator called Free Games, so it tells me what ge uh, games are free on the Epic Game Store. It's, so it's like a reminder, so you can go and collect the free games if you forgot. It's pretty cool, so that's why I'm getting so many notifications. Okay, so let's just try to run it on game mode. Should be okay because uh, it was working on the desktop mode. All right, looking good. So for the viewer that requested this, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Now we, I'm using the controller now, so we can skip this as well. See, you can see on screen it's using the controllers as well. 
rather than the keyboard and mouse. Yeah, press B to jump. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.